You good girl. Hmm? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you may have seen the boys on one of the other tour videos. Hi. This is bootleg. And over there's Moonshine with the spots. And Moonshine is our buck. He will be the daddy of any babies. So these bumps in the snow are actually, um, these right here are probably some sort of um, mouse or ground squirrel or something that's jumping up to get into underneath the barn door. Oh, there's a chicken in, <laughs> there's a chicken in the barn. One of the first things that I do um, when we've got fresh snow on the ground is check for tracks in the snow. And I check all around all the different animal hutches, the different goat houses, the barn, and I look for different tracks. Um, not really because I'm, I want to hunt down anything. We do have a lot of fox in the area, um, but mostly because I want to be sure that they're not getting into things. So uh, it's really easy to tell, obviously, when it um, has freshly snowed if they're getting into anything. So I just track them to make sure that I have everything locked up tight. These tracks, however, are fox tracks and they go off into the distance. And actually, I don't know if you can even see, but out there in the middle of the snow, there's like a loop around. They track everywhere. And if we come down this way toward the other goat stall, you can see the tracks here that go out and around and under the trees and into the woods, but they never go into the uh, barn anywhere. So I'm not concerned about that. But mostly the thing I check for every single day is this mama right here. They are all bred, I think. Uh, not sure if our last one actually took or not. We'll kind of see, but this one's real close. She is due at the end of the month, really any time now. So every time I'm out here, I'm obsessively checking her and making sure she looks okay. She's super cuddly and so she loves this extra time. This is Flirty. This is Athena. <laughs> Hi, Mama. And they're super snuggly. Starting to bag up and get really nice big udders. Oh, don't eat my pants. <laughs> Athena. Um, and also, if you can tell from the top down, she's real big. Um, so what you want to do is check on the back side of their tail. You'll be able to feel ligaments right here on the back of their tail. And when they're about ready to give birth, you won't be able to feel those anymore. They'll completely go away and the back end won't curve down. It'll be up because that baby is moving down into the birth canal. And, uh, if you're a mama, you know what I mean? Um, you've been there, done that. It's very similar in animals. So I just have to make sure that I pay attention to all the same signs you would pay attention for in a human. You pretty much get that in a goat too. So that's what I've been paying attention to and hopefully really soon we'll be having some babies.